The Energy 6 Standards Development Kit, or Dev Kit for short, is a development environment that seeks to uncomplicate the WITSML, ProbML, and RESCUEML standards and enable the integration of schemas into one's business solution. This helps ensure a consistent application development process across Energy 6 domains. The Dev Kit was licensed to Energy 6 to serve as a custodian of the program for the benefit of the standards community at large. It is an open source project under Apache License 2.0. The Dev Kit is available on the Energy 6 website under the Standards for Folio menu, Standards Dev Kit submenu. Scrolling down a bit lets you click on a link that opens the SourceForge website where you will find the last three versions of the Dev Kit. The current version is 2.0. Clicking 2.0 displays four links, one for the dev kit generator, one for the actual dev kit, and one for the compressed help file with its readme. The generator allows you to work with the standards directly. It is free and open source like the dev kit, which we shall download and unzip into a local folder. Our first step in developing standards is to open our Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. This is Visual Studio 10. I have created a new console application so that we can immediately see results from our queries. The first thing we need to do is to create a reference to the DLL which we had just downloaded. And this is how we gain use of the classes and methods which the dev kit provides. Also, working inside an IDE, let us be guided by IntelliSense, our context-sensitive guides that help us choose the right code or classes or methods for what we need. This demo has three parts. The first part lets us connect to a WixML 1.3.1 server using ID and password credentials and lets that server tell us a little about itself its name, description, vendor, and even schema and API version supported. After entering my password and hitting enter, we wait for the server to respond with the information we requested. Now that we've gained access to the server, we can now ask it for the list of wells that are stored in it. And here's the code snippet that lets us define a well list object and use the read method to fetch data from the server. You'll also notice how we are able to specify options in return elements equals all. So going back to our console, we wait for the server to return us the list of all the wells. This third section lets us zero into one particular well by passing the UID to the server. Turning back to our console one last time, we now wait for our server to return us the details of the well we picked. DevKit 2.0 features the inclusion of RescueML 1.1. Like with ML and ProdML, unit tests are available as code examples to help you get started in using the available libraries of the DevKit. RescueML differs from other energy standards in that it contains a binary representation of data using a hierarchical format known as HDF5. HDF5 seeks to accommodate large data sets, which RescueML by its very nature can possibly contain. Ample documentation and examples of hyper slabbing enhance reading from and writing to the base RescueML document object. These are all documented in the accompanying compiled help file. 
which we downloaded from the SourceForge website. Here we find details on, among other things, how to install a dev kit, a list of what's new, and even generated documentation on the wellness object, which we had just used earlier. To end this presentation, let us return to the SourceForge download site, where you can click on a link that opens a discussion area where participants have an open line to energistics for questions and suggestions, as well as exchanges with other users. And because the dev kit is open source, contributors may participate in writing and sharing code for the rest of the community to use for the betterment of the standard. This concludes our demo. For questions and other items, please contact Energistics. We're happy to help.